Hey Acres, just Jewel with a Land Knife, and today I'm reviewing the 2021 Buck Cavalier. Now, we haven't featured this one on AK Blade, but we will soon, so keep an eye out for that. So, I'm going to give you specs on this. Overall, it is 7, no, 8.1 inches overall. So, pretty big knife from Buck, in terms of a folder. Blade is 3.6 inches, made of 7CR17 stainless steel. It's got a drop point style, stone wash finish, so you hide any scratches. Handle is gray anodized aluminum with a carbon fiber inlay, so they did the, the black carbon fiber. I feel like they could have really made other versions of this one, so maybe they will in the future because they could do different inlays on it in different color. Uh, anodized aluminum so I would really like to see that because this is a gorgeously sleek knife kind of reminds me of maybe the CRKT CEO just because of how thin it is and how classy it looks it's got a frame lock obviously and the blade is deployed with a flipper stud on the back which there's no jimping but it's large enough that you don't really need it so I'll show you it again Opens very easily, very quickly, no complaints in there, and it engages. I've been messing with it. Doesn't fail engage once, so. It's also got a tip-up stainless steel right carry pocket clip. So, no reversible on this one. It's going to ride right on the right. Which is alright, you know. Lefties have gotten used to it. They still appreciate you know, lefty love, but we're not going to complain because the knife's gorgeous. We don't care. This is a perfect choice for an everyday carry. It's very easy to slide right into the pocket and it's going to look great. Cuts well, of course. 7CR17 isn't the most high-end steel, but this is a pretty budget-friendly knife from Buck and I think they did really well with making it look classy and they did it really nicely I mean it's all even lines it's only weighs 2.8 ounces <clears throat> seamless opening I really have nothing bad to say about it I think this is probably Buck's uh, newest attempt at trying to maybe uh, jazz up their knives. They recently let out another knife that has uh, this layering going on. I think it was the Buck High Line. I actually might even have it here to show you because it's very similar in the type of design it is. Uh, hold on. Oh, this is an unopened one. Don't tell C. But I'm going to open it. Okay, so I think this one, yeah, okay, this one we did recently on one of our videos. It has the same type of feel. Now, it is a cleaver, obviously, but it does have the gray anodized aluminum, and it does have the layering. This one has G10 instead of carbon fiber, so this one's a little more high-end. I'm not sure how carbon fiber is to clean, either. I'd like to see that one day, you know. See how easy it is to compare to G10, like if you drop it in a dirt puddle or something. It's going to clean real well. I might have to test that one day for you guys. You can see that they're doing the uh, colored hardware as well because on this one they got like a, a bronze coloring and on this one they have like a blue like anodized color so yeah, I just wanted to show you that <clears throat> I'll probably have a review of that one too so keep an eye out so pretty simple in design I mean it's just a frame lock it does have the anodized aluminum handle very slim I think I can't quite remember how thick the handle is. It's probably about an inch, maybe a little less. I do think they could have included maybe a uh, reversible. I know it would have messed up the inlay, but I would have liked reversible on this one. I know it might not have been a super practical, but it might just be because I'm a lefty, so I prefer left side pocket clips, but that's okay. So guys, make sure to tell me what you think of this knife. I mean, I think it's a 
great new addition to Buck's lineup, especially for the year 2021. Uh, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe on all of AK's videos. We do reviews like this one of, you know, all types of knives from all different brands. We also are on uh, social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram. Now we're on Rumble, so. We've got videos, pictures, all things knife and outdoor under the sun. So, as always, I am Just Jewel with a Land Knife. This was the Buck Cavalier, and I am signing off.